donut-shaped planetary nebulae, and the spectacular results which take place in a sun-like star's life have intrigued astronomers for years. A planetary nebula is a huge shell of gas expanding away from a tiny but exceedingly hot central star. This exposed core of the star emits intense ultraviolet radiation that charges the gas in the expanding shell, causing it to glow brightly. One of the closest planetary nebula to our solar system is the Helix Nebula. Located in the southern sky in the constellation Aquarius, it is a popular target of amateur astronomers. It can be seen even through binoculars. Larger ground-based telescopes revealed spoke-like features on the inner edge of the ring. In 1996, the Hubble Space Telescope observed a portion of the Helix Nebula and captured a detailed image of the remarkable finger-shaped objects known as cometary knots within the inner edge of the disk. Each of these cometary knots has a bright head and a faint nebulous tail streaming away from the central star. These cometary-like features were believed to be material that was fragmented from the dying star and compressed and trapped into these tiny knots. What we see when we look at the Hubble Space Telescope is that some mechanism has operated to trap about one half of all of the material that's been ejected by the star into these tiny knots, which are uh, just a few times the size of the solar system. An entirely unexpected result. The Hubble Space Telescope returned to the helix in 2002 when the Leonid meteor shower crossed Earth's path. To protect Hubble's mirror, the telescope was pointed away from the meteor stream. Astronomers used this as an opportunity to view the Helix Nebula, which was almost exactly in the opposite direction of the meteor stream. To capture the sprawling nebula, Hubble took nine separate images using the new advanced camera for surveys as it waited out the storm. Astronomers at the Space Telescope Science Institute assembled these images into a mosaic. To fill in the missing elements, the scientific team then blended the mosaic image with a wider image taken by the mosaic camera on the National Science Foundation's 0.9 meter telescope at Kitt Peak National Observatory near Tucson, Arizona. This breathtakingly beautiful image of the helix revealed wonderful clarity of the cometary knots embedded in the colorful red and blue gas ring. So the cometary knots um, in the helix point towards the central star which created them. And this happens in a two-step process. The first step is a shock. And the shock is like pressures in the Earth's crust which creates higher density rock in, in, and it creates higher concentrations of gas in the nebula. And the second step is the radiation. The radiation is like rain on the Earth which trickles down and removes all the loose stuff around and it reveals the hardened rock underneath. And these hardened rock is, is essentially these cometary knots that we see in the helix. The Hubble image reveals thousands of these cometary knots all pointing back toward the central star as if they were surrounding the star like a collar. Astronomers now conclude that the nebula isn't a bubble as once believed, but a coil-shaped cylinder pointing towards the Earth. Perhaps the key to how stars like our sun die resides within this trillion-mile-long tunnel of glowing gases.